Should you reach out to wish your ex a happy birthday or happy holidays? Are people really asking this question? Hey guys, Danny Coach Harry Wilmington here. And so I was online researching to do a different type of video, which I'm gonna to get to at some point. But I noticed in my search that there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people asking dating coaches, so should I reach out to my ex to say happy birthday to her or you know, Merry Christmas or whatever? And I guess maybe just as a logical guy, I'm baffled. I'm baffled as to why anybody would ask about trying to reach out to an ex that dumped them, that got rid of them to try to wish them happy anything. And so I'm gonna give my commentary on this and talk to you guys about why it is that this is an absolutely horrible idea and why you may feel motivated to wanna to do it in the first place and why it's bad motivation. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Click the link in the description to learn more and join today. All right, so your ex leaves you. After months of dating or years of dating, she says she doesn't want to see you anymore. She's not interested. Maybe she found somebody else. Maybe she just realized that the chemistry is no longer there or whatever reason she comes up with, right? So at this point, you guys are no longer seeing each other. But you're still thinking, but you know what? Maybe we should still be friends. We should still be cordial. Maybe I should still reach out to her on those special days just so she knows that somebody's thinking about her. All horrible ideas. But why is it that we think this way in the first place? Well, there are several reasons. For one, habit. At the point that you probably dated your ex, let's say it's been two or three years, you've now built in the habit of hitting her up and wishing her a happy whatever day it is, right? And so understand that when somebody cuts you off, even though it's a full stop, the reality is your brain is still functioning as if things are still normal. It's kind of like they say, like when people get their arms amputated, they can still kind of feel their fingers, even though they no longer have fingers. It's that. So when she cuts you off, you're still in this mind frame of like, but I still had habits just from the relationship that I'm used to doing. I'm used to reaching out, I'm used to calling and texting her all the time, and I'm used to wishing her a happy birthday, a Merry Christmas, whatever, right? And so understand that that feeling of wanting to do that isn't just gonna go away right away just because she decides to get rid of you, all right? Uh, the second reason is because of hero cape syndrome. We, even though she broke up with us, part of us is thinking, but maybe she hasn't actually gone with anybody else yet. Like there are plenty of times where women will break up with you and not have somebody else lined up, contrary to what the internet would have you believe. And so you might be sitting there thinking, but it's the holidays, it's her birthday. She told me about not being really close to her family or her brothers or whatever, and her friends aren't really gonna try to hang out with her like that because when you were dating her, maybe you saw that. Maybe you saw that her, her people in her life weren't all that involved in her life when it came to celebratory things. And so you're thinking, as a nice guy, well, even though she broke up with me, I don't want them to think that nobody cares about her, and so I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to her because it's the nice thing to do. And keep in mind, she broke up with you. Well, she broke up with you. Maybe she took your feelings into account a little bit, but not enough to want to stay with you. And so the fact that you're still taking her feelings into consideration is admirable, but it's not really a necessary thing for you to have to do. And then the third reason you're considering trying to reach out to her, let's just be 100% real, it's just you and me right now, right? Is that you're thinking there might be a chance in the future that, Maybe if she, if you go no contact on her, or maybe if she's had time away from you, that she's eventually going to want to get back together with you. And so because of that, you don't want to potentially do or not do things that are going to put you in a bad light and make her think, oh, see, he didn't really care about me the whole time. Oh, I knew it. I knew that he wouldn't do whatever. And so you're thinking that in order to keep yourself in her good graces, that you're going to continue to do things that are going to, in your head, be pleasing to her. So that way, A, she'll see you as the guy that still cares about her and B, potentially persuade her to rethink her decision to break up with you. And so you're thinking, if I reach out and say, happy birthday, she'll remember what a caring boyfriend that I was and realize she's made a mistake and be like, oh, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. You know what? I made a mistake. Let me, let, let's go out and talk again. and Maybe we can make this thing get back together. 
And so I got to tell you, guy, it is a losing strategy. Like across the board, you reaching out to an ex who has broken up with you to wish her a happy anything, it's not going to win you any points. It's not going to potentially make her review the situation and want to get back with you. It's going to do none of that. If anything, what could actually happen is you reaching out to her to try to do this is going to make her think, I broke up with this guy. I didn't want contact with him. And now he's now and now he's contacting me. So he's not respecting the boundary that I set for. He's not respecting this breakup. He's not respecting the fact that I told him I didn't want him around anymore. And that didn't just mean physically. That also meant by way of text, by way of phone call, by way of him accidentally running into me places. Like I am emphatically trying to get away from this guy. Now, is there a chance that somewhere down the line? A girl could change her mind about dumping you. Yes, it's happened plenty of times in the history of data that at some point women could come to you and say, hey, I made a mistake or hey, I want to talk to you or hey, let's get back together. But that has to be a decision that she makes, that she comes to the conclusion that she wants to do that. No amount of persuading by you or doing nice activities from you is going to change her mind about that. The best way I found, honestly, for that to happen is to leave her completely alone, to move on with your life, to start dating other women. And at some point down the line, she might start to feel, hey, this guy's actually not paying me attention. Let me check him out on Facebook. Oh, he's actually like seeing other girls and doing other things like, oh my God, do I now miss him? But you trying to do these nice things post breakup for one that she caused, this is really going to be a situation where it's going to work out in your favor. So. What do you do instead? Because you've now had this feeling in you where it's like, you want to reach out, you want to say the happy birthday and the happy holidays, all this stuff. Like, what is your actual action? And uh, sorry to say, guy, the, the action is no action. This is not a situation where I can give you like positive advice, but if you hit her up this way, she's going to accept it. Or if you secretly do it this, the reality is she, this is not the time to be reaching out to her. She has not expressed any interest in hearing from you. And so as much as you might want to do the nice guy thing or do the thing of like, I want to make sure somebody, she knows that somebody cares about her still, the reality is you reaching out to do that is actually gonna more likely than not be taken in a negative than a positive. And so it behooves you to not do that. Now, what you may also find is this, is that let's say you, it's a recent breakup and a birthday comes, holidays come, and you say nothing. Well, what can oftentimes happen is that she's going to notice that. She's going to notice that you didn't send a happy birthday, you didn't reach out, and it may initially bug her. She may be annoyed by, oh, I know when you're spoke up, but why did you blah, 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 blah. And but what that does is that experience allows her to feel the fact that she, in fact, doesn't like when she doesn't hear from you. And she doesn't like the fact that you didn't wish her a happy birthday or a holiday. And she may be mad initially at you for that, but then she has to sit with herself and think about, wait a minute, let me just take a pause. Like, why is it that I'm actually bugged by this guy not saying happy birthday to me or saying happy holidays? And it could be because she, she wore her ego stroke and didn't do that. But it could also be because she realizes I'm so used to hearing from this guy. I'm used to him contacting me. And I really miss that feeling. What other things do I miss about this guy that maybe I overlooked when I was just haphazardly doing this breakup? And doing that could lead her to the conclusion that she actually misses hearing from you and she misses being with you. And now at this point, this is what it becomes her decision to say, you know what? Let me reach out to him because I didn't hear from him on my birthday, but that actually kind of bugged me. And I want to reach out and talk about that. Maybe that'll lead to other conversations, you know? So that's the situation where she's now making her own self come to you. And if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But you trying to chase her post breakup by, by sending her all these happy birthday messages, happy holiday messages, they're bound to get you nowhere. So guy, I know it's hard. I've been through breakups where they happened right near a holiday or right near a birthday where I had plans to do stuff with them, plans to get them cards, plans to take them out, plans to say things to them. And breakup happened before then, came away, and I couldn't do nothing. And you know what? You just have to live with it. But don't do the same thing of trying to reach out to exes that dumped you to wish them happy anything. They did the best they could to come to you and make you sad as crap by breaking up with you, you do not deserve, they do not deserve you to come to them and try to add sparkle to their day by acting like the breakup didn't happen by saying happy whatever. They don't deserve that. They're not currently earning that. They're not your girlfriend. So they're not in the position to even be accepting of that from you in the first place. So do not do that. I know it's hard, but guy, have a little bit of self-respect for yourself and understand that women that reject you don't deserve your kind greetings. 
Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. 